In this Wellmints tutorial, we will be creating this 3D part. So let's start. First of all, select File, click on New, select Part, and click OK. First of all, we will be creating a base flange. So for that, select Front Plane and click on Sketch. Drop down this menu and just select here Center Rectangle. Make a center rectangle here at the origin. Now specify the dimension. Select Smart Dimensions. And set this line dimension to 200 mm. Okay, now press the control button on your keyboard. Select these two lines and make relation as equal. So, all the lines have equal dimension now, 200 mm. Now select this fillet and in entities to fillet, I am going to select these two lines. Okay, and click on yes here. Okay, and fillet and fillet parameters I am specifying here 25 millimeter because 10 mm is too small. Okay, so after that, select these two lines and click on yes. Similarly, I am going to select all of these lines and then click on yes you can see all the fillets have been created like this okay so now it's time to make circles at these cross points let me show you these cross points select circle again and make circle here at the cross this point okay so we will make four circles at these four cross points Now we will create equal relation to all these circles. For that, press control button on your keyboard and select all of these circles and then make relation as equal. So this is the equal relation, select this. Okay. After that, select your smart dimension and just make the diameter of one circle as 25 mm. And you can see all of the circles have now diameter as 25 mm. So this was the benefit of using equal relation. Okay, now go to features and select here extruded boss base. 15 mm is fine and click OK. So we have created the base for our structure now. And now it's time to make a pipe on this base. So for that, make a circle here, select smart dimension and set the diameter as 100 mm is fine. Okay. After that, select here extruded boss, go to features, select your extruded boss base and specify the length of this uh, pipe as 300 mm and do not forget to select these uh, thin feature. 10 mm is fine for this uh, thin feature and after that click OK. Now it's time to apply some weldment features to this uh, structure. For that go to weldments here. Okay so this is the weldment and select this weldment. Okay. First of all we will make a weld bead for that. Select this surface and select this base flange and after that specify here 10 mm. This is the thickness of the bead and after that click OK. I'll show you the bead um, after we apply gazette. So apply gazette here, select gazette and select these two faces, the pipe and the base. OK. Scroll down here and click here and after that select this face gazette will appear here you can see now let's specify some features some parameters to this gazette for profile check this first one and let's specify some parameter to this for height 60 mm for this d2 i am 
specifying here 40 mm you can see the changing in the profile for this third parameter i'm specifying here 5 and just enable here the fourth one and specify here 5 mm okay and select this option because we are also applying weld bead so we need to cut this much uh, profile at the bottom okay so you can specify the thickness as 10 mm but 5 mm is looking fine so you can flip the gazette to the other side like this okay so we have this option as well and let me show you how this offset works so let's apply some offset 15 mm and let me show you what is going to happen so the offset has been applied but uh, i am not going to check this option okay and after that click ok now it's time to have some more gazettes and for that we are going to use this circular pattern command in the feature window for the direction one select this uh, pipe and then select this bodies option select this gazette and you can specify here the degree 45 degree for the six because it's 60 degree for equal distribution but i will always prefer for you to select this equal spacing option okay so here we have the gazettes and let me show you the weld bead we just created earlier expand this bar and just select this option so here is the weld bead we have created earlier it's just looking fine Let's apply some color. But before that, just hide this detail and specify the color option. You can specify any color. If you find this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.